Hello everyone. Through this video, we will be learning that how can we put shapes like lines, circles, ellipses and polygons on our images as well as put shapes on particular regions of images and text on them. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So you have to begin by importing your importing with your necessary imports like importing your OpenCV module and your NumPy. Let us first start by creating a grayscale black background. In order to do that, you have to simply create a variable and you have to assign a NumPy array of zeros numpy matrix of zeros and uh, in, with this image you can't basically do anything because it has no functionality if you run this one by pressing ctrl shift and f10 or by pressing the green triangular icon on the upper right corner of the screen you can see that a black background has appeared but you can't uh, but you can't just draw any image on it because it does not have uh, any functionality it uh, it also has only one channel so in order to color image, in order to draw shapes with colors, you have to first add some functionality. You have to add some channels. So I'm going to not include this in my code and I'm now going to work with this variable that is IMG variable. So I'm again going to make a black background and the only difference with the earlier portion is going to be that I'm here. I'm going to add a channel that is my BGR channel. Remember in case of OpenCV, you have to include BGR that is blue, green, red channel. And in normal images, we generally take RGB that is red, green, blue. Only the arrangement is different. Rest everything is same. I have included a NumPy unsigned 8 bit integer as my argument and passed it inside. Now, if my run, uh, now if I run my code, you can see that I have again created a black background, which is very much similar to the earlier background. The only difference is going to be that here, there will be three channels and there is some functionality in this background and I can add shapes and I can add text on it, color text on it. Now I will first teach you how to draw a line on this particular black background. So I'm going to be using this variable only that is I'm going to update this variable IMG variable only and I, in order to draw a line i have to use the line method cv2.line method and first i have to pass my original image the image on which i want to draw a line and then i have to pass my starting coordinates and then my ending coordinates here in the starting coordinates the first thing is your width and this is going to be a height so the starting coordinates is going to start with uh, is going to start from the upper left corner of your screen and from there your starting coordinate from there your height and width will be started and this is going to be your ending coordinate and this will give me my color so remember for OpenCV, your color channel is going to be of bgr format that is blue green and red so this is going to be my blue this is going to be green and this is going to be red and three denotes my size of my line that is basically the size of the stroke of my line that is the pixels or the thickness of my line so now if i run my code you can see that i have successfully drawn a line here now if you want to confirm that uh, whether this is width or this is height so i'm going to change this i'm going to make it 400 now if i run my code you can see that uh, the starting point of my line has shifted rightwards by width so this is how you can confirm that this is going to be my width and this is my height this hole is my starting point and this is going to be my ending point if instead of 255 i write here 0 and here i write 255 so since uh, this is of my bgr format and this is going to be blue this is going to be green and this is going to be my, uh, red so now if i run my code my line will be of green color now i will be learning now i will be explaining that how can you draw a rectangle in order to draw a rectangle you have to simply use your cv2 dot rectangle method and begin by first passing the image on which you want to draw your rectangle. Then you have to first pass the coordinates of the upper left corner of your rectangle and then pass the coordinates of the lower right corner of your rectangle. And then you have to pass the color, the color in which you want the, uh, you want the rectangle to appear. Since I want my rectangle to appear green in color, so I'm going to pass here 255 if i had by chance wanted my rectangle to appear it so i would have written here zero and written here 255 because this is bgr format this will be blue this is going to be green and this is going to be red and i want the thickness of the stroke of my rectangles line to be four pixels now if i run my code you can see that a rectangle has appeared 
if i want my rectangle to be white in color so simply i'm going to fill my rectangle to 255 blue channel to 255 and green to obviously 255 now if i run my code you can see that my rectangle has changed its colors to uh, white now let us uh, see how can we draw a circle in order to draw a circle you have to simply uh, use the cv2 to circle method pass your original image pass the coordinates of the center location of your image uh, of your circle so here 100 and 400 specify the central location central location center point of my circle 20 is my radius and this represents the color of my circle here since blue is 0 green is 0 and red is 255 so the color of my circle is going to be red and the thickness of my circle the thickness of the stroke of the line that uh, that is present in my circle is going to be uh, 5 pixels now if i run this you can see that a circle whose thickness is 5 pixels has been drawn and now let us see how can we draw an ellipse so drawing an ellipse is a little more complex than that of circle in order to draw an ellipse you have to simply use your ellipse method then pass the image in which you want to draw your ellipse and then you have to first pass the center coordinates of your ellipse so here 270 and 450 determines or defines the central coordinates of my ellipse the uh, coordinates of the central point of my ellipse here the 150 represents my major and minor axis 100 represents my minor axis and 50 repre represents my major axis and 45 degree uh, represents the rotation angle of my ellipse anti-clockwise and 130 and 270 represents my starting angle and my uh, final angle clockwise remember 45 degree is my rotation angle of my ellipse and it is measured anti-clockwise and 130 represents the starting angle of my ellipse that is going to be clockwise and this represents the final angle anti-clockwise this is going to be the color of my ellipse and i have specified it to be one pixels thick i have specified the stroke of my ellipse to be one pixels thick now if i run the code you can see that an ellipse has appeared here and uh, it is about one pixels thick and if you don't know what is major axis then minor axis then please uh, look into some blog or any video or go through some books because uh, it is beyond the scope of this video to teach the uh, measurements of ellipse how to draw an ellipse and other things major axis minor axis etc now let us see how can we draw a polygon on my image so i have to first specify the vertices of my polygon since polygon is an n-sided figure so i have to first specify my vertices because it will be easier for me to draw on the later stage here i have specified five vertices so this implies that my polygon is going to be a pentagon that is a five-sided figure now i am going to make my image so i'm going to use my cv2.polylines method which will help me to draw a polygon on my figure on my image now i will pass the image on which i want to draw my polygon then i will pass an array of vertices and then i am going to write here true true will specify that my polygon is going to be a closed shape figure now i will pass my color channels now since i want my polygon to be in white color so i'm going to write here 255 255 255 that is my blue is going to be 255 green is going to be 255 and red is going to be 255 and i want my polygon to be of three thickness i want the stroke of my polygon to be of three pixels thick uh, thickness so i'm going to write here three now i'm going to run it by pressing ctrl shift and f10 and you can see that i have successfully drawn a polygon here now let us see that how can we draw geometrical figures on our images so i'm going to look first begin by loading my image here i am going to load this image and i will be drawing a rectangle on the logo of amazon so after loading my image here by using the im read method i am going to use my uh, cv2.rectangle method pass the image that i have just loaded 
and specify the coordinates of my rectangle this is going to be the starting point uh, starting point that is the coordinates of the upper left corner uh, upper left vertex of my rectangle and this is going to be the co uh, coordinates of the lower right corner or lower right vertex of my rectangle and this is going to be the color and this is going to be the thickness of my rectangle if you don't know how to get the coordinates of the rectangle so you can simply open your image using any image editing tool for example i have used my paint and you can bring your cursor over to the region uh, for example i will bring my cursor for first here and then i will measure the coordinates by looking at the lower left corner of my screen and then i will measure the coordinates of this vertex and then i'm going to write these things here so now if i uh, run my code first let me open my cv2 now if i run it you can see that i have been i have been successful in drawing a red rectangular box over my uh, around the logo of amazon now i want to put some text on it so i'm going to be using this font cv2 uh, cv2 dot font hershey simplex and then i'm going to use my cv2 dot put text method and inside this i'm going to uh, pass the image on which i want to put my text then pass the message you want to put then you have to put the starting point of your uh, of your text that is the starting coordinate of your of your message then you have to pass your font that is you have to decide what font you have to use which font you have to use then you have to pass the size of your font color of your font and then you have to pass the thickness of your text remember this is going to be your font size this is going to be your font size and this is going to be the thickness of your font and this is going to be the type of line you want to use now if i run my code you can see that i have i have been successful in writing amazon on the top of my logo so this is how you can draw a line draw a rectangle circle ellipsis polygon and geometrical figures on your images in the next video we will be learning that how can we join or combine our images vertically and horizontally. So we will meet in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.